time I taught this class in Little Rock, I had suggested a book called The Five Love Languages. Has anybody read that book? Oh, I love that book. It's so, so, so good. It's a very good book, but it basically talks in, and I was talking about leadership, right? But I brought that up because the book goes, talks about how each of us receive love and how we give love, how we perceive it and how we receive it. And it's so important, even in the work um, environment, I, like I said last time, I, I'm over three counties and I work with nothing but women. That's the first time in my life coming from Chicago that I work with nothing but women. And the stereotype is that women cannot get along. And there's a number of women up in here, except for you. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they say women can't get along and they have these issues. And so one of the things that I wanted to do in my, in my counties was kind of unify the women and bring the women together. And I suggested that book and it made a world of a difference because how you may receive love may not be how she receives love, but we're still kind of communicating in some underlying way. So. I have a question. Does anybody, can anybody um, tell me um, a little bit about what the, um, the rules, some of the rules are for having a productive meeting? I have an agenda. I know I want you to be more, if you could be a little bit more specific, the rules. You guys got your PowerPoint in front of you. Take minutes. Take minutes. <laughs> Ebony, you was on it. You should have kept reading, honey. <laughs> she wrote it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, did you guys, Ebony, did you write down your benefits of work ethics? I mean, on your hand? Did you, did you write anything on your hand? What? You, see, look. Look, I'm gonna point Ebony out. This is a team member right here that we're gonna have to show some love to, y'all. We're gonna have to encourage her a little more. Come on, Ebony, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> okay, so nine care, and I'm gonna come back to the hands. I hope y'all writing on them. So the nine characteristics of work ethics, good work ethics are, number one, attendance. You, come on, people. People have to show up for work. And you need to show up and show up on time. And then my boss used to always tell me, if you show up right at the time that you're supposed to be there, you're late. So you're supposed to be there at least 10, 15 minutes early. It just makes you look better. It makes you look like you're professional and you're serious about the job, okay? And it's good leadership quality for those who are watching you.